Hello and Happy New Year! For the first RouteX lap attack of 2020, we'll be using the Roblox Racing Cart. Because I want to have those two Miatas in a higher position. Or at least keep them in 5th and 6th place. Now this cart, despite having a top speed of 119 miles per hour, can uh, quickly get up there. It's pretty fast at accelerating. As you can tell, I drive this thing a lot because the mileage is already at 255. About to hit 256. So as you can see, I've got a uh, smiley face on the back as well as um, on the front, and it says OOF. And on the sides, instead of a racing number, it also says OOF. The next episode, I have a, another car decorated in Roblox colors. It will be the 2018 Camaro. All oh, right, the top speed is 115. I, I had the transmission set to 119, and I, I keep forgetting like, I always feel like when you have it set to a certain speed, like 130 or 150, it will actually hit 150. Now, obviously, you got to make sure you have enough weight and horsepower to get this done. Like, I don't always upgrade it to a ridiculous amount, like 400 miles per hour or 200. I mean, 400, I could probably do that with one of the um, Dodge Tomahawks. I really haven't tried that yet nor do I really want to. Because, really, what's the point of having a car when everyone else online is going to be like, you're not allowed to use that, and they just ban you two seconds later? Even if it doesn't say you're not allowed to use a um, Tomahawk or any car from the Vision lineup, they're going to be like, oh, you're getting kicked. Without even a warning. That's how unpopular the Vision cars are. Now, we might hit 119 after we go down this hill. There have been a few lobbies that I've done where you can race with others in these racing carts. This is why I have so much mileage. You know, I'm just having a lot of fun racing around with others. Although there have been several um, certain people, I can't remember their names. If I did, I wouldn't say them out loud. But um, they have tried to complicate things, you know, by crashing into other racers or just simply being dirty. That's not me. But um, if, it, if there is someone that's trying to attack literally everyone else for no reason, I will fight back, you know? Like, I'll, I'll do the same thing to him just to get him to stop. Like, there's this one Austrian guy I remember playing with a few months ago. I was with um, two Austrians, another American, and two guys from the UK. And one of the Austrians was literally crashing into everybody. So I thought to myself, hmm, I'm in second place with this guy. Why don't I give him a taste of his own medicine? Uh, he gets so angry that I pushed him off the track and won the race, wh whereas everybody else was cheering for me. They're like, hooray, he stopped the troll. I'll never forget that. I really should have put that up on YouTube as well. I might have had it recorded somewhere. I just really haven't had the time to check. Because I've been so busy um, doing other videos, such as my satire series, The Bad Quality Adventures of Thomas and Friends. I really want to get started on episode 63, because I actually got Thunderbolt 1000 Sirens Productions to voice a couple characters for me. And I'm also looking forward to getting into uh, future episodes. Like, I really want to get to this fight scene involving some of the engines. And let's not forget the ending, of course. I, uh, I am ripping off Revenge of the Sith, after all. You know, next time I think I'm gonna do... Um, one of the night 
settings for this track. Like when it tells me to set a certain time, I'm going to go for Twilight. I've done it a few times and it looks beautiful. Yeah, four minutes. I'm going to say we're at least going to be able to beat the bus. I know in the last episode, I know I said it was going to be above the Mini Cooper, but I remember before I said that, for some reason I, I forgot about it while I was recording the um, one other episode. There was another race I was doing here with others in these racing cars, and I got some time around like nine minutes. It probably, it probably would have been a little faster, like it still would have been 9 minutes, I'm probably going to say like somewhere above 9.25. But there was this one guy who um, I was drafting off of, and I tried to pass him, but he wouldn't let me, and like I turned right, and then he turned right, and then all of a sudden I just bumped into him, and spun out. Yeah, that's the hard thing about um, this game, you know, trying to stay clean. Like, if you're trying to avoid hitting a car, the next thing you know is, if you're not paying attention, you could actually bump into another car. See, 540 right now. Still at 115 miles an hour. I'm just gonna do this right now because I'm bored. I'm trying to keep it straight. I don't want it swerving to the left or the right. Sometimes does that automatically. You really got to be careful with the direction of the cart that you're going. You really want to keep it straight like this. I think it's veering to the left again. Yeah, I'm looking at the white lines in the corners, and I see it going to the uh, corner of the screen there. Really gentle with the steering wheel. I don't even think I'm moving it. Okay, yeah, I did. That should be okay for now. I think I finally got it in the straight position. I don't see the lines moving to the left or right. Or I should say up the screen. Well, I'm looking at those white lines again, and they're definitely getting towards the center of that corner. Sensitivity seems to be a bit higher than I remember. I should turn that down, or at least with this card anyway. The others seem to be okay. The other cars, I meant. Let's see, 734. I was going to say 733, but, uh... I kind of made a little reference there for other rail fans. 734. You know, speaking of 734, I uh, I heard they're going to have another Western Maryland steamer on that line. That would be really cool to see. And while we're also on the subject of Western Maryland, I... Uh, I am thinking of getting a BMW and painting it to look like a Western Maryland train. I uh, finished a few other railway-inspired liveries in this game as well as in the crew, too. Like, I finished a Metra Jeep. Um, for this one, I also did a Chicago Northwestern Toyota. That was actually a lot of fun to do. I, I really also want to do a uh, Dodge with Santa Fe colors. Because the, uh, the grill, the shape, it reminds me of the front of the Santa Fe engines. You know, you got that oval on the cross. Definitely going for uh, red and gray. 
actually in this case red and silver. Come on, oof cart. You gotta at least beat the bus. Hang on. I gotta see this. I didn't know my tires get dirty from being on that part of the track. Because it looks the same as over here. Yeah, we're going to beat the bus, definitely. I think it's going to be 950. Ah, a second off, but that's a good thing. It may have been one second, but we are at least uh, faster than 950. Uh, that's another uh, train people might recognize, 949. Union Pacific E9. Well, I'm done talking about trains, and we have gotten up to 8th place with a time of 9.49 above the bus, literally almost one minute, because that's 10.46. Now, for the Roblox Camaro, that's definitely a lot faster. I don't think I have it fully upgraded, but once I do, we're definitely going to be somewhere in the top three. I kind of like the second, third, and fourth position there. You know, you got three Dodges in a row. Kind of like the two Miatas. I really don't want to break up that Dodge streak. I want to keep it right where it is, you know? So I'm really hoping the Camaro can at least get second place. Or at least be slower than the Super B. I know that sounds weird, but please do not break up that Dodge block. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.